we have an appeal of the final mitigated negative declaration related to the 1050 Valencia Street project. Uh, our consideration of today's appeal involves an analysis of the adequacy, accuracy, sufficiency, and completeness of the NEGDEC. The marsh is, lives up to its namesake environmentally. It's been a fertile and thriving cultural center, a major theatrical venue for San Francisco and the Bay Area for the past 24 years. What we want is something built that will respect the neighborhood. Uh, a, a neighborhood with a lot of art and culture, and it's uh, very sad to see that they're all being hurt. I have performed at the marsh. I have been an audience participant at the marsh. It is an absolute historical treasure. I think that many of us in uh, San Francisco know that this has been a very, very hard time for artists in, in the Mission District. And I feel like my heart has been broken in the last year as I've been outpriced. I've been priced out of my own city. Um, do we want artists to remain here? Do we want service workers to have a place? Do we want diversity to have a voice? The Marsh is a place that provides that. It, it, it allows people like me who can't afford to live in the city anymore a place to create art, to have a voice. And so I hope that we will, in, in your deliberations on this topic, consider strongly this development's effects on the mission. You know, I know a lot of people who have been involved in Eastern neighborhoods uh, who were involved in that whole seven plus year process uh, and I have yet to, uh, to, to, to have someone say that exactly. I mean, I, I think that a lot of those folks have been surprised by the level and the magnitude of change that has happened in uh, around the Valencia corridor. Uh, I, I haven't heard anyone claim that it was that the level of development was expected. Uh, uh, so that's the first one uh, from in terms of what I hear. Uh, I'm also really worried about the analysis around uh, noise with respect to the marsh. Silence is it's not just a, a bonus for the theater, but it's actually if you don't have silence and you're doing a theatrical performance. It's like having a museum without walls or paintings or things to look at. It's, um, it's everything. Um, I'd be really grateful as a citizen, as, as a lover of the marsh, um, as a lover of San Francisco and the Mission District, I'd be really grateful if you folks did everything that you could to make sure that this project, I mean, I have nothing against condominiums. I'm sure they do a lot of really great things in the world, condominiums, but, <laughs> you, I, but, but the theater is also important. I'm not saying as important as condominiums. I'm just saying <laughs> if theater could just be even brought on just even to near the level, and uh, also Supervisor Wiener, I just want to say um, I want to develop a show based on your character. That was awesome, your cross-examination of that guy before. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. I'm Nato Green. I'm a San Francisco native and uh, stand-up comedian. I have used the Marsh, the Mock Cafe, and the Monday Night Marsh were important places for me to develop and experiment when I was coming up as a comedian before I was the historically significant comedic genius that you see before you now. Um, I support the conditions that the Marsh is proposing. I'm trying to get these people to be a good neighbor uh, as they move into the neighborhood. Um, you know, San Francisco has been a welcoming place for generations of artists to move to, going back at least to the 50s. Uh, that should continue. No one... You know, the city genuflects before the opera and baseball. No one likes opera. Uh, seriously. People, people like being able to afford to be seen at the opera. Uh, no one likes baseball. People like winners. But we are making art for losers by losers. And we need a place in this city. Uh, we don't have riots or cause traffic jams or, uh, or beat up Dodger fans. We cry in our beer and have regrettable sex with baristas like we're supposed to. And we need some, some respect and some, uh, uh recognition. If you need a just, a sequel justification to mitigate this project, I think there are significant uh, unmitigated cumulative impacts of bringing so many new assholes into the neighborhood, and I think the city needs to look at that. So, uh, thank you very much. I'm Nato Green. If any of you guys want to come back for other general public comment, we always welcome you.